Hi, hey, hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What is this? What's happening here? I don't know. It is about damn time that I did finish these. Some chunky chunky books. Some chunky 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 books. So this will probably, hopefully, be a very short video because both of these are not the first book in a series, let's say that. <laughs> so, first of all, The Hero of Ages. This is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, if you can read this very large font. So, in this series, it's the... Alamissy, Alumissy, one of those, where people, well, some people can use metal to enhance certain abilities, as it were. So, in book one, we have the taking down of the empire. It's called the final empire for a reason. And then in book two, the The Well of Ascension, I almost said book three's title, The Well of Ascension is kind of the aftermath of book one and, you know, the beginning of a war and so on and so forth because so many people were dependent on that and other things are happening and so on. Yeah. The Hero of Ages, book number three, is the conclusion to that. It's kind of the end of the world, so because I know there's a Bisborn era too, I was kind of like, well, how is that going to go about? Because it's, the world is ending. How, who, what, where, where, what, what? Um, there's a very satisfying conclusion and a resolution to everything, and I cannot wait to read more. Oh, honestly. That is about as much as I can say about this book and the whole series uh, without, you know, spoiling everything, as it were. Very happy. Will want to pick up the next. I think after the first Mistborn area, you're supposed to read the Stormlight archives, I believe, and then go to Mistborn era 2. I must look that up and check because I kind of want to read them in like the correct order so you get you get most of everything. You know what I mean. <sighs> and then also the chunky chunky book that is the <laughs> the A Court of Silver Flames. That was probably correct by Sarah J. Mass. So this is the I guess the fourth book, but if you want to count the novella, it's the fifth book in the A Court of Roses series. So the first chunk of it, we follow Feyre, but in this one, we follow Nesta, which is Feyre's sister. And people have been saying that this is the smuttiest of all the smuttiness of all those books. And Honestly, I read about 200 pages and thought, is this all that's happening? Because she's like, she's kind of promiscuous and and uh, she's trying to deal with things. So she has sex with strangers and drinks a lot. That's her way of dealing. And I was like, is this what we're getting? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there was a lot. And I do mean a lot. They, they, they were very, some very graphic scenes and I do question if we needed all of them because I feel like we could have edited out a few of them and maybe gotten like 200 pages less of this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I do question if all the sex scenes were necessary because they were a lot, especially Oh, there was some stuff explained that had me, bleh. that was my reaction to it. I was like, this is actually gross. This is not even, this is not sexy in any way. How? Bleh. Yeah, that 
that was my <laughs> take on it. However, having now finished this, I can very happily go on the reread of what's it called again? Fuck's sake. I looked it up. So now I can do my reread of House and Earth and Blood and then move on and do my first read of House of Sky and Breath and then wait like two years for um, House of Flame and Shadow to come out in paperback because I am buying Sarah J Mass's book in paperback in this, in this size of it all because I like how all the, all, all, I like how all of them looks, okay? They look very good next to it, each other. And if I put a hardback in between that, I'm gonna have so many Sarah J Mass books. I mean, I already do, but duplicates. I'm not sure I need duplicates of her books quite yet. I do already have some duplicates of her books, though. So I'm not going to lie. Because the first part of this series was first printed in a different cover, and then this came out, and they did new covers! Also, House of, Earth, House of Earth and Blood is in two editions. Anyway, that was hopefully short hopefully cohesive i don't know all the rest of the words something i don't know i hope you had a good time probably not anyway thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next time until then take care bye, -bye.